Hello everyone, Alex here from PCAB. And welcome for another PCAB online licensing portal tutorial. Today, I'll walk you through the steps to apply for a new special license for Joint Venture Local. But first, let me briefly discuss about the definition of special license Joint Venture Local and its requirements. The new Special License Joint Venture Local is a cooperative arrangement between all Filipino licensed construction contractors to jointly perform a single specific undertaking or project with each of the partners contributing to the performance. The Special License of a Joint Venture is valid only for the duration of the specific project. However, it is renewable until the specific project is completed. In addition, it cannot undertake any other projects outside without applying for another joint venture license. Here are the requirements and important reminders in applying for new special license joint venture local application. Number one, each local partner in a joint venture must have a valid regular contractor's license. Number two, the latest and notarized joint venture agreement detailing the terms and conditions of the joint venture roles, responsibilities, sharing, and contributions of each partner. The template can be downloaded in the portal. Number three, a copy of pertinent pages of invitation to bid or instruction to bidders or notice to bidders. And number four, a properly accomplished digital form, which can be done by visiting the official PCAB online licensing portal. Important reminders, Special license application has to be filed at least one working day before bidding or negotiation date. Applications past the bidding date will not be accepted. An additional processing fee, based on the ARCC size range of the lead firm, will be imposed. On top of the application fees, for applications filed less than five working days, but at least one working day before the bidding or negotiation date with the requirements and important reminders emphasized. Let's get started by completing your application. First, visit the official PCAB online licensing portal. Log in using your existing credentials with valid regular license associated with your account. Once logged in, you'll land on your dashboard. To apply, click on Special License menu and then click on Special License JV Consortium Foreign Submenu from the top menu. Now click on Special License Joint Venture Local Menu, and then click on New JV Application Submenu. You'll be directed to the Joint Venture Application Form. This section is divided into three sections. Please ensure to fill out all required fields marked with an asterisk. Start by adding your joint venture partners. You'll need to provide the firm's license number, firm name, category, percentage share as per your joint venture agreement, email address, and principal classification. ARCC size range and project kind as they appear on their regular contractor's license. You may add as many joint venture partners, if applicable. To delete a participant, Click on the cross button found on the upper left portion beside the subheading Joint Venture Partner. Don't forget to toggle the lead firm to yes for the lead partner, which should hold the highest percentage share in the agreement for most cases. Make sure your total share percentage is 100% and the Joint Venture Partner's origin are Filipinos. Second, Joint Venture or Consortium Particulars. Provide details about the joint venture itself. Enter the registered name of joint venture, lead firm's office address, contact information, and authorized managing officer. The authorized managing officer and AMO representing firm will be based on the agreements among the joint venture partners and will serve as the sole representative for and behalf of the joint venture and all bids, contacts, and other documents whatsoever pertinent to said project. Basically, the AMO and their represented firm is the lead firm of the joint venture. If the sharing is equal or 50-50, the firm of the nominated AMO of the joint venture or consortium will be the lead. Please make sure the contact information is accurate, as important updates will be sent to the registered email address. 
And third, project identification. Afterward, you'll need to enter specific details about the project, such as the project title, contract ID if applicable, project location, implementing agency, funding source, date of bidding, approved budget for contract, size range, and project kind. Identified by the Philippine Bidding Document for Government Infrastructure Projects. You can find most of this information in the invitation to bid or bid bulletin provided by the project owner and or the tendering agency. Then upload the PDF file of the invitation to bid or instruction to bidders or notice to bidders. Affidavit of disclosure if with pending case. And notarized joint venture or consortium agreement. The template for the joint venture or consortium agreement can be downloaded from the link provided. Important. All documents must be consolidated into one PDF file. Submission of incomplete set of documents shall result to disapproval of the application. Remember to fill out all required fields marked with an asterisk. Once all requested information and documents are fulfilled and provided, carefully review your application and agree with the terms and conditions stipulated before clicking on the Submit button to save your record. After submission, you'll be redirected to the list of new special license by a joint venture local applications. You may now proceed to the payment section by clicking the pay submit button. Again, please make sure you submit your application at least one working day before the bidding or negotiation date. Otherwise, you won't be able to proceed with the payment. In the payment section, review your payment details before proceeding. Double check your company name, license information, and order summary to ensure accuracy. You can pay securely via QRPH for online payments or opt for over the count transactions at the SIAP Makati cashier. For payments made via QRPH, payment will be automatically reconciled. For payments made via over the counter, the applicant needs to upload the official receipt in their application. It needs to be reconciled manually by the SIAP Makati cashier. Once payment is made, click Submit to return. After that, the application is automatically submitted and locked for evaluation process by PCAB. You can track your application status through your online portal. You will receive emailed notifications through your registered email. Once approved, follow these steps to download and print your digital license. First, log in to your PCAB online licensing portal account. Next, navigate to the Special License menu and select the submenu Special License, JV Consortium Foreign from the top menu. Click on Special License, Joint Venture Local. Then select New JV Application. Under the Action column, click Approved button. Finally, click the Special License button at the bottom of the progress page to download your digital license. Once downloaded, you can now print your digital license. And finally, you can verify the authenticity of the digital license by scanning the QR code or visiting the verification website. Congratulations! You've successfully submitted your special license application for your joint venture local. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to PCAB through the following. Good luck with your application and thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.